Seems like you're thinking a lot, bro. I know, man. You're, you're thinking a lot. Yeah, yeah, because you're, yeah, you are, yeah, you make me think a lot. <laughs> Should we? You got me there. <laughs> you got me there. You got me there. Hi, my name is Joey Carbstrong. I'm a vegan who has spent the last seven years trying to convince people that animal cruelty is wrong without as much success as I hoped. So I thought I'd try a new, completely opposite approach. I'd pretend to support animal cruelty and harness the power of reverse psychology. You're deleting your brain for What? Okay. This is how it went. What's up, my friend? What, what, what are you standing around? What do you want? You, you got, you're angry with me? What is it? No, I, well, I, I think animal cruelty is wrong, obviously. Uh, Why? What, what's your what's your reasoning towards it? Okay. So the reason I don't think animal cruelty is wrong is because we eat the animals. Most animals that are treated cruelly are being eaten. That's number one. Number two, when you look into like the jungle or like the savannah and nature. The carnivores, I know like most animals are herbivores, but the carnivorous animals are extremely cruel to their prey. So I would say animal cruelty is natural. And if it's natural, that means that there's nothing wrong with it. We eat the animals after, so it's okay. The other thing is uh, we've been doing it for a long time. Okay. And I would also say we need protein would be another one. Do what else do I got? Everyone does it. Do you, do you think humans are made to eat both meat and vegetables? Like genetically? I don't really know. In the same way how gorillas may just eat vegetables, like our body, I know you can get supplements for eating vegan, however, naturally, our bodies are made for eating both varieties of vegetables and meat. I mean, I prefer just to only eat animals. Yeah? Why? Because mainly, the reason mainly is because that's how lions eat. But humans are made to eat both. Like if we were talking in a genetic fashion. I mean, I'd eat plants if I had to survive. Uh-huh. Like in a survival situation, I'd eat plants. From what I know, a, a, the, the optimal human diet is to have at least some form of meat and 90% vegetables and I'd say maybe 10% meat in an optimal human diet. Kind of beside my point though, yeah. I'm making more of an ethical statement. Yeah, okay. Right? You're making more of a biological statement. Yes. Well, I'm saying there's nothing wrong with animal cruelty. I want you to prove to me why there is something wrong with it. Like I said, that as long as you eat them, it's okay. I think it depends how it's... I know the world... Uh, it's a really hard one because in my head, it depends how the animal's treated before you eat it. All right, so do you eat animals? Yes. So do you check how every animal was treated before you eat them? Absolutely not. Do you eat chickens? Chicken. Little chickens? Chicken. Like as a friend or as a... to eat? They're little, little animal abusers. <laughs> They'll grow up to, to abuse animals. So basically, you eat animals, you don't check how they're treated. So you, and statistically, most animals are treated cruelly. Definitely. You're on my side here. You must not think there's anything wrong with it. I do think there are things wrong with it, but I do bad anyway. It would be better if animals had a better life, in, weren't kept in, like factory farms, like the statistics it, show that exactly. most are. Hundred percent. Like okay. I, I know all of that happens. It would be better, but you still pay for it I know. and eat it. I know. So you're opposed to my sign in a way. You think there's something wrong with animals? I, I definitely do. But your actions are in line Absolutely with my wrong. sign. I know. I know. You do something you're morally against, which is support animal cruelty. And most of the animal cruelty on Earth, let's face it, where's it happening? Like the human caused cruelty. Yep. It's happening in animal product production, isn't yes. it? Most people participate in it. So there can't be anything wrong with something that most people participate in. Is that true? No. Slavery, for example, slavery. Most people participate in slavery 
three, four hundred years ago, but that was definitely something wrong. Okay. So maybe, maybe I'm being a bit logically inconsistent there. And that was wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, like, it's Very wrong. Big. Just because everyone's doing it doesn't mean it's okay, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, 100%. I, I think it's one of those... In my head, I think it's okay to eat meat. What I think should change is the way the okay. meat production is okay. made. A lot of people think that cruelty in the farms is wrong, right? Yeah. Which is why I get a lot of people pissed off with me. Hypocrites, I call them. <laughs> but you're saying it's not cruel to kill an animal. No. Okay. In my opinion, I don't. Mm. It's a hard. Ah, it's a hard one. It's not. So if, I, if there's an animal there just chilling. Yeah, yeah. They're kind of like in life, actually. Yeah. You're saying I can go up and just kill them, as long as they don't feel any suffering. And that's not cruel. I mean that's fine if you give me the permission because I going back to your going back to your point earlier. Do you think it's cruel? Uh, the point you made earlier about do you think it's cruel if a cat killed a mouse? I said um, that animals are cruel in nature. That's why it's okay. Okay. That's what I said. I said uh, lions rip the throat out of antelopes, so why can't I like rip the throat out of is it, is any it... animal I want? I see your point. I was about to say is it is it cruel because of because they need food, but then I can see a point against that as well. Interesting. Ah. I mean, yeah, I need ah. to eat. Here's one. I need to eat animals. Do you think that's true? I don't think. I don't could think. I, could I live? Really live without eating meat? I don't think humans need to eat animals. I think humans can live without eating animals. However, there, like I was saying earlier, for an optimal human diet. Okay. There is a percentage of meat that should be eaten. If you found out that we could be at this optimal health or at a be healthy without eating meat, would it then be cruel for me to eat the animals? Yeah, I mean, is it cruel if I like the taste of cows and I kill them just because I like the taste? Tell me. Cool. And the cows just cold chilling. I mean, it I'm, I'm happy. It is, probably is cool. Yeah. Why? Right. Why? Because it, well, because it's a selfish indulgence of wanting to eat a cow because it tastes nice. The only reason I eat cows is because I like the taste of burgers. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It is a definitely a selfish endeavour to eat an animal because of the taste. I mean, I don't really think that I need to eat meat to survive. I'm not out here like a jungle man, like with the leaves for my dress costume, like hanging off a tree, jumping on birds. Yeah. I'm really just going in Burger King and buying a burger because I like the taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to like justify the animal cruelty because if I can't, I will probably have to like stop eating animals or be a complete hypocrite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tricky one because you're right. Like, I do eat it at the moment for the taste. That's why I probably eat a lot more meat than I should. I probably eat about eight, 70, 80 percent meat because of the taste. However, I would, me personally, I'd never go vegan. I would go down to a, a I would go, I would reduce my intake in meat and it'd be another selfish reason. I'd have, I'd eat to, to benefit myself as much as possible. So I'd have the amount that should benefit my body the most, which would be that 10%, 90% balance I was talking about earlier. And if you found out that you didn't need that 10%, like some research existed that showed that you were actually wrong. Then is, what? Is, is it true that you that if you eat a pure vegan diet, you have to have a B12 supplement to sustain it? Uh, probably. I, don't, I know. I know a vegan. I think my 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 brother's a vegan. He supplements B12. He said to me, "You shouldn't kill animals to get B12. That it's stupid." <laughs> he basically said to me, "My dog has B12 in their blood. I wouldn't kill the dog to get B12. I'd just take a supplement." It, 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 That's what he said to me. <laughs> it, may, it, may, it makes, it, that, does, that does make sense. I mean, uh, he said that it's pretty stupid and crazy that you're using an excuse like B12 to kill an animal when you can get it from a supplement. What's wrong with supplements? 
I mean, we take medicine. We do take That's medicine. That's what he told me. You go to the dentist, yeah. you use technology. And I was just like trying to fight him, saying, no, I can only get B12 from killing cows. In my head, eating animals, killing them is cruel. However, I think that it's... Because, because in my head, I think it's natural for that to happen in the world, not just in humans, in life. Even though we can have alternatives to it, one, one, uh, <laughs> Chewie, you got me there. <laughs> you got me there. You got me there. Um, so it happens in nature, right? Yeah. yeah. It's natural. Yeah. What else is natural? Is everything that's natural good? The lion rips the throat out of an antelope. Yeah. That's natural. That is natural. Is it good? It is for the lion's sake. Because so is it for the antelope? For the antelope? It's, it it's not for the antelope. Okay. For the for the lion. Yeah, but so it, if, the lion your, if the lion ripped your throat out, yeah. would that be good? It wouldn't be good for me. But it's natural though. It would be good for the lion though. Yeah, it, it is It is natural though, yeah? How, however, if the lion didn't rip anyone's throat out, the lion would die. die. And yeah. then that would be... Yeah. That would be... The uh, lion's got a pretty good reason to rip throats out, yeah? Yes. Do I? <laughs> I mean, do I? Because I'm looking for one. I mean, yes and no. So I've got a, a good justification to act like the lion does. Because you said, oh, like, I think oh, you got me, but it's natural, you know. A lot of things are natural, man. Yeah, yeah. but however, in, in, in a, in a, if, you had, if you had to look in the lion's point of view, if it didn't rip anyone's throat out, that lion would die. Yeah, of course. Either way, someone has to die in, in the in lion. In that scenario? that scenario. Yeah, and what about in my scenario here in England? Yes, that, that, that's, the, that's the difference because we can eat both. And we can survive with, like, we can survive with just vegetables and supplements. But my... My, in my you don't argument. probably want to. I mean, the way you put it, vegetables and supplements, it doesn't sound like, it sounds like you want me to eat grass and tablets. Well, this is, this is it. In, in, in my, is I this mean, it? it doesn't sound appetizing, but then my brother's like, you know, there's burgers, there's ice cream, there's chocolate, there's vegan burgers, there's all this stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, he had a point. <laughs> he had a point. So yeah, I mean... He made it sound better than you did, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, like, we, we, we eat it for the taste as well, 100%. Like, it's, we, we eat it... For pleasure, because it's sensory pleasure, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like, when I eat a burger, I get a taste, you, and I forget about it. But, but, but why, why do we get sensory pleasure out of it? I think it's because it's got fat and calories and salt and definitely. sugar, and the way that we eat our food now is hyper-processed. Uh, yeah. Like, I could eat a bit it's, of chocolate, get pleasure. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of things I can do to get pleasure, but when I think about it, like, I'm gaining, I'm getting that pleasure from the demise and suffering of someone else. Because I can do something right now to get pleasure, like drink some beer. I might get a bit of a buzz. Sometimes I don't harm anyone. It's a bit of pleasure, no one got hurt. But then I think about the cow, what they had to go through for that same little bit of a bit of pleasure that that goes away. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think... Watch Minion. It's 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. Minion? Yeah, yeah. It's I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Have you seen it? I've just seen it. I will watch Dominion. What's Dominion? All right. Dominion. It's an animal rights film that my brother keeps making me trying to watch. <laughs> it's Australian based. Where are you from? I'm from, I'm from London. From London. There's another one called Land of Hope and Glory. It's an English based one. But I think my issue is my, I don't have enough empathy, I think. For animals? I think so. Yeah. I mean, they're animals, so who gives a shit, really. Like, to be honest, like, I generally don't have empathy anyway. Like, no? No, not really. Why? I don't know. I don't know because it's not me. But the only time I can sort of get empathy is when I imagine if that was me. That's the only time I start to go, well, wait a second. If that was me, that would be bad. But because it's not me, it's not that bad. That's, where it's, that's how I got empathy. 
Because if I just look at it from my own perspective, it doesn't matter to me. A chicken doesn't matter to me. A cow doesn't matter to me. But if I was that cow and I was terrified and about to die, then we'd have a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a hypocrite, eh? I wouldn't want it done to me. No, no, I don't think anyone wants it done to them, including an antelope in a field. No. Of course you wouldn't want to be that animal there, but I, but even if I was that antelope in a field, I wouldn't want to be there too. Of course. However, that happens naturally. What we do doesn't happen in a natural way. I think the way we treat animals when they're alive is very cool. I think the death of the animal, in my eyes, is different to the way we treat them when they're alive. Do you think we ethically kill animals? Human beings? I Do you think you can ethically kill someone if they don't want to die? Fine, eth ethnic. Uh, oh, well, I mean, it's another thing where you're switching roles. You know, I don't want to be murdered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I don't want my existence here to be robbed from me. Yeah, of course. I don't think anyone wants their existence robbed from, from them. I think that in the world, if humans never existed, life and then death would happen no matter what of course. because of life because a life needs to eat another animal we and do would you call that and and we do need to eat another an animal we do i mean that's the question isn't it no that is the question <laughs> technically because that's what this is all hinging on do we need to technically not technically. i mean if we found we didn't i mean because i know like a lot of people long-term vegans yeah. they're kind of rubbing it in my face yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, technically they're not pissing me off yeah because they are walking examples of why we don't need to do it yeah, yeah. technically not technically we don't need to do it um seems like you're thinking a lot bro i know man you're, you're thinking a lot yeah, yeah, because you're yeah, yeah, you are, yeah you make me think a lot that's a good thing. It's good that you're considering these things. Yeah, 100%. It's, it's one of those things where I would, in, in my head, I'd, I'd consider eating less, not eating, not eating no meat at all. Because I eat probably 80% meat, 90% meat, and I think, in my eyes, that's what's wrong. That's what you want, of course. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to say goodbye to a juicy burger either. This is it. It's like, I mean, in, in my I mean, eyes. I mean, but we always look through things through our eyes. That's what I'm saying. You're looking at this from your perspective. How is it going to affect you? That's all you're doing right now. Yeah. You're kind of letting the animals in there. You still want to kill a bunch of them anyway. This, this is it. Not like, this much. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Like I said, like I said, like I said, like it is. I want to cut down because I enjoy the taste of meat. Yeah. I, 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 the reason why I couldn't is because I enjoy meat and meat products. It's the reason why I could never go to zero meat. There's too many things in my eyes that have meat slash meat products in it for me to stop and you couldn't picture yourself making that big change i i couldn't i could never i don't think i could change to complete veganism what if i told you that i've been vegan for nearly nine years <clears throat> interesting interesting <laughs> yeah ah. not your brother no. <laughs> no i'm actually a vegan okay 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 that makes sense now <laughs> would you have approached a conversation differently if you knew potentially <clears throat> yeah potentially uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you let your guard down a bit with me man yeah, yeah, yeah. you yeah. thought i was like you a bit did you yeah yeah, that I was just considering things with you. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah, man, yeah, I don't know. But uh, even still, I still do, I still... Well, no one can force you to do anything. I can only make you think about things. Definitely, yeah, yeah. You know, no one's can, no one's, you, you, you control your conscience and what you believe is right and wrong. Yeah, yeah. And I guess I can only convince you what I think is right in my head. Yeah. I mean, like, we both have different opinions of... Yeah. I mean, the animals, if they were sitting here, uh, and it was we were considering their opinion too like what would they say to you of course they'd say no however and we would say too bad well this <laughs> it, it, it's, i'm not gonna lie like would it, you say too bad and yeah probably wouldn't <laughs> like yeah, a cow's I, just here I, licking your gun hey has what's yeah, up no no honestly you would, yeah you would I, I, I like like yeah like would you kill them yourself watch the blood spray out of their neck and all that <clears throat> 
In 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 sense to everyday life or just like so just have a burger basically. You want a burger, you kill the cow. I they don't want to die like we like we talked about. You know what? I'd probably find cows harder than I would a chicken. And I think, birds are easier to kill? I think in my head the level of intelligence of an animal okay. ranks highly in my head. Like I wouldn't eat octopus, for example. Because they're smarter? Yes. Okay. So in, 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 in my... I, I, it might not be so the right... So you matter more if you're smarter? If, yeah, exactly. It might not be the right what way about to... people? I would never eat a person. No, do people matter more if they're smarter? No. Okay. No, but... Um, so I, you got a bit I, of a double standard there. No, but I would never eat a human, period. So no, that, I mean, like, just matter, like, do they deserve less of a right to exist because they're, they're not as smart? Like a human? Uh, no. Provided it's not some war scenario where you're choosing the genius to survive and continue humanity. I'm just talking about generally, if you're not as smart as someone else, do you deserve less rights? No. Okay. No. But in the animal context, you do the intelligence metric. Yeah, I guess I do. Even yeah. though they, like a chicken can suffer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, and they experience the world and bird, they're birds. They're, they're, a chicken is a bird. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I don't know. It... Should we navigate our morality by this metric of intelligence? Should we say, the bird, not as smart as the octopus, I wouldn't eat an octopus. You know, I don't care that you exist and you're experiencing and that you can suffer. It matters if you you can do algebra or if you can navigate a complex maze, but... Would you, would you ever eat insects? Probably not, no. I mean, depends on the scenario, but not in a jet, not right now, no. But in the, what, what do you mean by the scenario? Like a survival situation, I'd probably choose in, insects over a pig, a wild pig. But with that, not de is that not defined on their intelligence? Because an insect, because I mean, uh, I'd say on their their capacity to experience would be my metric. Do they experience pain? Uh, it's, it's unstudied. Uh, there's evidence for some insects, less for others. Fish and chickens and that's very clear cut. It, 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 it is, it, but it's still on the spectrum. I'll give them the it. benefit of the doubt. Like bees, yes. And certain insects, yes. It's a hard yes. It's other insects, it's grey. You know, yeah. some mollusks, like oysters, it's grey. I, I don't need them benefit of the doubt because I'm not in some survival situation. But survival situation, I'll go for an oyster first and yeah. leave the birds and the fish. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I do, but it, that in, in my, like, it, it's the same scenario as looking at the spectrum of intelligence in my yeah. eyes. Why intelligence not? And, ex and sentience are different. Sentience is you're experiencing the world, right? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you feel sensations, your brain is... It's like you can see and you're experiencing reality. That's like consciousness, ex sentience. Whether you, your intelligence doesn't come into that. It's, a, it's, like, it's like maybe it's, a part. Think, do you not think they go hand in hand? Because they, they, oh, no, 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 actually they don't. No, they don't because plants are intelligent. They're not sentient. They, plants display intelligence. Like your phone is intelligent. I guess a mushroom's very intelligent then. Yeah, well, your phone is intelligent. It's not sentient. But I, I, I guess in, in my head, there, there, there may be... Ignore the intelligence and sentience is what I say maybe a chicken less sentient than a human is. Or a fish is less intelligent. Yeah, 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 but but I would say they matter more than your taste preference. They do they, they do they, they do matter more but yeah. I, I, maybe I got the maybe maybe it's not intelligence that I'm looking for, it's more sentient the how sentient they are. Yeah, so do you think that a chicken's wife matters more than your you know, the five minutes pleasure you get from a burger. Yes, I do. I don't know. It's, bad, it's bad to say, but I... Yeah. Yeah, like the life of a bird. We're talking about a bird. Yeah. You know, there's a pigeon over there. Yeah. Like, I get five minutes of taste preference from running up, cutting their head off, frying them up. Did that pigeon's life matter more than that five minutes of pleasure or whatever it takes me to eat it? And it up? Like, do you remember what you had for breakfast three days ago? Oh. Not really. <laughs> Forgotten about. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
matter. No. It didn't matter to you. No. It was everything to that animal, everything they had. It's been really good talking to you, bro. Here, let me give you this. Did I give you this? No, I no, 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 you haven't. I want to give you this. What's your uh, name? Joey. Joey, nice to meet Norman. Norman, really good talking to you, mate. And uh, this is uh, some documentaries. If you're going to watch one out of anything on this whole page, this is like some help. Find vegan restaurants near you, what to eat. If you're interested, if you're interested, this one here, Dominion, watch it. Like I said, I'm interested in eating more vegan. I just would never cut down completely. Oh. Say never, never say never, never mate. Say never. Final last words of a vegan. <laughs> vegan in the making. Take care, mate. Cool, man. No worries.